as to exploit uh, the possible of an independent Northern Ireland at the moment. Uh, uh, we are not at the moment trying to take advantage of that. We are not sharing, didn't we tell you so? The British don't want to remain here, they want out, they want a united Ireland, and they're not prepared to protect your people. This would be a very dangerous time to push forward uh, independence. We are talking about the Ulsterization of the situation, to build an Ulster nation with, with a common identity between Ulster Protestant and Ulster Catholic, which eventually will bring about the independence of Ulster. You're standing apart from the idea of a so-called third force, or whatever one calls it, are you? As far as we can gather, we may be wrong. Uh, this third force appears to be uh, to take the form of a sort of a B-special unit that was. And if it's an unwanted force hanging on the coattails of the present security forces, it, I don't see it uh, being any danger to the provisional IRA or INLA. In fact, it will provide, uh, from their point of view, more legitimate propaganda targets than members of the UDR and the RUC. Does the UDA foresee taking no part whatsoever in the present upsurge of protest and activity and perhaps what may emerge out of it, the setting up of a security network whatsoever? Or do they have some plan that we haven't heard about yet to take to the streets or do something in a paramilitary fashion? We have been involved in almost every parade and rally and protest over the last 13 years on the Loyalist side. What are we are saying now is that we are here, the Ulster Loyalist Central Coordinating Committee, all the Loyalist Paramilitary Organisations and the Ulster Workers' Council, that we are available, that if the politicians come up with a constructive formula, either for security of the Ulster people or for future government, that we will make ourselves available. Yeah. But we will not f fall in behind a particular leader, political leader, or a particular party. We will fall in behind a unified front of all the leaders and all the parties. Do you believe that the leaders can form a unified front? If they cannot, there's no future for the Ulster people. It is certainly possible, but so long as everybody wants publicity, it, it's not possible. It can only be done behind the scenes when the temperature cools.